So for decades, Rice has received gifts of public art, starting with a gift by Mary Ellen Hale Lovett in 1969 from the, the Swedish sculptor Carl Miles. And then in 1984, we received the commission of work by Michael Heiser, the 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, the Texas pink granite monoliths that have become so synonymous with the Rice campus. Then in 2008, Rice Public Art was established by President Liebren as a campus-wide public art initiative establishing a person for art program at Rice. And then since then, the campus was once again transformed by a major commission of public art in the form of the James Terrell Twilight Epiphany Sky Space, which was a gift by Rice alumna and patron Suzanne Dealbooth. And since then, we have collected more than a dozen uh, works of art since 2008, uh, including the work that's over my shoulder, work by the American sculptor Mark de Suvero, which was a gift by Mr. and Mrs. Ralph O'Connor, which is now in the green next to the Moody Center for the Arts, which just opened in February of this year. The new direction for Rice Public Art will be a renewed focus on actively collecting and working with living contemporary artists on temporary exhibitions of public art, artist residencies, which will be incredibly important to the future of artist engagement with students and faculty on campus, and a renewed focus on temporary public art and programs. Rice is one of the most prestigious universities in the country, and it has a public art program that is in keeping with that prestige. And that's demonstrated not only in the artists that are included in the collection, um, but also in the really exciting and dynamic programs to come.